Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today I would like to show you how we can use the Launchpad Pro MK3 linked to uh, Luby Pro. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as that helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay. So I have not connected the Launchpad Pro yet, so I'm going to do that now. You can see that it is switched off. So let's connect it to uh, the iPad. As you can see, it's turning on. And immediately you can see that it is representing the same clips that we have on the screen. So where we have uh, um, five clips, um, two rows of five clips. You can see also here one row and the second row here as well. And you can see also that is represented the same color. So the first one is orange then yellow and then green, as you can see on the screen as well. When you connect it for the first time, if you go under media controls, you find that there is a new a profile for Launchpad, a new binding which has been created. If you click on it, it will say that there is an automatic bindings on and there are some clip action which have been defined like tap for toggle play, but also there are others which needs to be further defined. So let's have a look at what it does straight away out of the box. So for that purposes, let's add an audio unit. So uh, let's choose uh, Bliss Alpha, like so. And then let's bring that up um, with the keyboard as well. And let's try to minimize the size of the keyboard for the purposes of the tutorial. Okay, so if you click on one of the button on the launch pad, you will see it will trigger a recording because uh, that is empty and that is the standard configuration so let's try and you click again to stop it and of course you can um, stop it as well so you can uh, press again on the pad and it will stop and you can continue like that so you could record another clip pressing the second one And press again, of course, to stop it. The other thing as well is that you can click on the buttons here on the buttons button. And it will solo practically all the clips that you find here on the launch pad, which correspond to the first row. Okay. And similarly, you have also the second one, which will be mapped, etc., etc. You also have the ability to uh, clear um, clips. So you press on the clear button here, and then you can see on the screen is uh, waiting to for the next clip to be clipped. So you click on one and then you delete that clip. So you have some standard functionality which comes out of the box, which are very straightforward to use, which um, is very nice indeed. So now let me show you, let, let me show you how you can actually configure it yourself from scratch, for which you need to understand a little bit more about MIDI messages, CCs, MIDI controls, profile, etc. But before I do that, let me record again a few more notes. So that one. Okay, perfect. So we have two clips recording on two different rows. And let's also just simplify this UI as well. Like so we have um, only three uh, clips for each row as well. Okay, so let's go under MIDI controls and let's go to Launchpad and deactivate that automatic bindings. As you can see straight away, you have um, all the pads which are going to be disabled. So let me show you now how you can start to configure it yourself. So the first thing I suggest is that you add a new profile. You can create, of course, bindings uh, to the external control, um, in this case, the Launchpad Pro, of course, 
under the current project as well. If you wish, I prefer actually to create a global profile because I can recall that in any other project. So you click on add a new profile. You can change the name up here. So you can say launch pod, like a uh, launch pod, uh, MK3 like that, and then press enter. And then here it says add new binding. So click on it and this is where the fun start. So let's say that we want to first replicate when we press the play button here on the Launchpad Pro for that to start and play the session. So we just scroll down and we go to the session actions and where it says toggle clock uh, pose, click on it, okay. And then we click save. And then what you will find here is that it will say, okay, I'm waiting for a trigger in this case is not assigned. If you click on it, choose the Launchpad MK3, the DO version, not the uh, DIN, which is the external MIDI coming out from the Launchpad uh, Pro um, at the top here. And uh, we are not going to use the MIDI either or the virtual MIDI DIN. So choose the DO one. And here is where you can define now for which channel, which CC messages and for which action as well. So, for example, you can scroll here and you will see also that um, um, on the um, launchpad, you see also some highlighting. Okay, it tells you which uh, control it correspond to. So, for example, if I'm down here, you can see 27, etc. When we go around uh, uh, 20, 21, you can see 21 is here. So, we go to 20. Oops, like that, which correspond to the play button there. So we click um, back, close, and now we have CC20. When it is on, we'll toggle the clock pose. So let's exit that. So let's press the button here on the uh, Launchpad Pro. You can see that it will start and play the session you can see here, and also the master clock. Uh, starting so if i click on it it will start to play if i click again it will stop okay so the next thing we want to do is to activate clips so there is a very easy way to uh, do that so go to the hamburger menu go to midi learn click on the clip itself it will say that it's listening for midi down here click on the first part like that and it will match against that clip very nice let's do the one uh, below that and we click the button below so we match that as well and you can continue like that so you can map all the others as well okay like so perfect so now let's test it let's click close and let's click play okay starting to play and now let's click on the first clip Click again on it to stop, and let's click on the click on the uh, pad below to activate the uh, the clip below here. Perfect. Okay, that works uh, very nicely. Now let's move to something a little bit more complicated. Let's say that I want to be able to clear some of the clip. Now this is a little bit more of a complicated uh, setup because you need to. Uh, press on the clear button here on the Launchpad Pro, hold, and then press on one of the clip. Right, sorry, on one of the pads which correspond to the clips now. In order to do that, we need to go back to the MIDI controls. Let's go under the profile. As you can see, it started to populate all the action that we have defined. Let's click on add new bindings. Let's click on clear clip. Okay, here it will say what target. Okay. Now we're going to select the next tapped clip, so the one that you're going to tap next. Okay, we click save, we go back, and now we need to define the trigger. So we click on unassigned, we select the DO interface, and here we again, we are waiting now for uh, ACC, which in this case, I know which one it is, it should be 60. You can see changing it on the uh, launch pad that is 60, so is there. Now we click on hold, which means it needs to be uh, hold the CC60, okay, not just on, off, or on and off. We click on the binding back, and this is it. Now we click save. 
Okay, let's click outside. Now let's click and hold on the clear button like so. It will now, you can see on the screen, is waiting for you to tap the next clip. Let's clip on, on uh, this clip. And as you can see, it has clear that clip. And let's do the same on the first one up here. Click and hold and press on the first one. So as you can see, I have now mapped the clear button directly uh, to clear the action. And now you can continue this way because you can define other actions. So for example, let's say that you want to be able to press the buttons here to solo all uh, the free clips up here, okay? So in order to do that, go to the meeting control. Now again, on the profile, click on add new binding, click on solo, then define as a, a target specific clips, in this case, the first row, all the clips, clip save, like so. And remember to change the solo context. I've done a previous tutorial which explains this. Change that to all loop, go back to um, binding, and then you need to assign a trigger. Okay, again, interface though. And then you need to set the CC message. In this case, I think if I remember well, is um, um, 89. Okay. And uh, let's click binding, let's click save, let's come out from here. Let's record something else as well. So first one. Let's go to the second. Okay, third. Okay. Now let's click on the patent. And uh, as you can see, the first time it um, started only the third clip because that was already on, so that deactivated it. And now the next time when I clicked again, it sold only the first row. And of course, now you can repeat that to the button below where it says steps to act solo only the clips which are below here on the rows uh, and I, I like that you can continue to actually configure as you prefer uh, the uh, launchpad to re uh, launchpad pro to react to um, to the actions that you defined inside uh, Luby pro okay i'm going to stop here hopefully that uh, is uh, a good enough introduction to show you how you can interface the Launch uh, Pad Pro MK3 version directly to the Loopy Pro apps. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any question, please just leave some comments and I will try to answer as quickly as I can. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.